This is Alim from Javelin playing with the new toys in SOLIDWORKS 2013. When you need to simplify uh, components of a large assembly, probably there is no better tool than uh, the speed pack. And SOLIDWORKS 2013 increased the functionality of this tool a lot. Let's examine this uh, situation. I'm purchasing the burner, the whole sub-assembly. And uh, really, I just need a pretty picture in my uh, assembly. Um, and uh, an item in the bill of materials, so I would like to remove all this very heavy geometry. In 2012 I would have to do quite a bit of work. First of all I would need to s open up the sub-assembly, so let's select the sub-assembly and open it. Uh, manually select the configuration where I wanted to create the speed pack and add the speed pack as the derived configuration. Um, hopefully I would have, I would remember the faces uh, that might be used in the main assembly for mating. In this case I don't really remember, uh, let's say maybe this one. And uh, this was how the speed pack was created. When you move the mouse over the speed pack, as you probably see, there is the ghosting. So the faces that would be removed are not really there, just a pretty picture. Going back to the main assembly, you would have to manually go to the properties of this um, sub-assembly and change the configuration to speed pack. And that would have been the result. Now let's see how this is being done in SOLIDWORKS 2013. So um, I'm just reloading the whole assembly. And as you can see, the moment I'm selecting the sub-assembly on the feature tree, I already have a new entry on my right mouse button menu called speed pack options. So I can create a speed pack on the fly. If I want to capture the automatically the faces used in uh, in mates, I can just create a mated speed pack. Otherwise, I would just go directly to a graphic speed pack, meaning it will remove completely all the faces. So let's try to create a mated speed pack right now. And as you can see, not only the speed pack has been created, but the right uh, configuration has been already applied there. The ghosting is still there, but you have another new option in SOLIDWORKS 2013. If you want to make this look more realistic, so when you move your mouse over uh, this area, um, the geometry doesn't, the, the picture actually would not uh, disappear. You have a new option under uh, System Options, and actually you can search now in 2013 for, for options. So I'm going to look for Speed Pack. And as you can see right here, there is an option for displaying the speed pack graphics circle. So if I just turn this off, notice that when I'm moving my mouse over here, uh, the whole picture is still visible. It's just that I'm getting an indicator next to my cursor that I'm above a uh, ghost face. And uh, I hope you like this new functionality and you're going to use the speed pack more and more. Thank you.